Hey, how's it going? And welcome along. I'm Rory from Ramatime, and welcome to episode 10. This is my satisfactory version 1.0 playthrough, and we're building a mega base. We're getting there. This is where we are so far. It's looking pretty groovy. Done a little bit of work, done some tweaking over here. We've got a load of um, interesting lighting setups going on here. We've got some, some gaps that I need to still fill, okay? Obviously I got distracted and didn't finish that. But this is the main storage area, uh, kind of ready. And if you come through here, obviously this is where it's all still work in progress. But we have the setup at the back here and this is my initial test for getting some stuff in here. And yeah, I, I had this kind of little setup. Basically if it gets full, it'll come out the back here and go off into a very slowly churning awesome sink so that everything stays moving at least to some degree. Also, this top bin is designed to be swapped out with a dimension bin so that we can put stuff in the cloud uh, which also uses this this overflow. However, I might have got something wrong. I'm not 100% sure yet because Deskarath, Deskarath, I think I'm pronouncing the name rightly, commented on one of the videos saying that the output doesn't actually split. So I thought that basically whatever you put in here it will alternate between coming out of those two. Because I'm sure I've done that in the past. However, he, sa he says that it doesn't. One is the primary and the secondary is the overflow for once it's full. So, um, there have been reports apparently, apparently about it switching randomly. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know about this. So I need to find out. I'm going to run a test right now. I'm going to put my big bin here. And I am going to put a little bin here. And then I'm going to put another two small bins there. And I'm going to wire this up like this. Really? Try that again. There we go. Like that. Okay. So, we have basically the same setup. And then I'm just going to chuck something into here. So we'll chuck a load of these in. And we're going to see what it does. Well, would you Adam and Eve it? He is absolutely right. I didn't know. I did not realize this. So that is very interesting. So thank you very much for that bit of info. I like learning in this game. It's great. Problem is, it means that my system isn't going to actually work that well because that means that stuff's only going to go in the cloud if, 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 if it is full. Hello? Wait a minute. All right, now. <laughs> or is it? Because that's stuff that... It's not full yet. That was like towards the end. What? What? Let's just put some more in there and see what that does this time. Okay. So just randomly start throwing stuff out of there towards the... I, I don't understand then. I don't see how it's working. I'll tell you what I do want to do. I'm going to whip those out of there. Right. This time, I'm going to delete the bottom one. And I'm going to start with the top one. Then I'll connect the bottom one. And we'll do the same test and see if everything comes out of the top first. It does indeed, yep. Yeah, so yeah, so it does seem that the theory is correct. It's just, well, why did suddenly some start coming out towards the end there? It's a bit odd. But either way, I'm going to have to have a think about my solution. I do love this view, though, when you come down here. This looks so good. Let's go this side this time, just to mix it up. So let me think, why were, are we going to come out of there? So yeah, no, it does always need to connect to that one first so that it always sends it down first. Otherwise it's always going to try and... yeah. So essentially what I need to do is have this one so this is, always comes out first. And then have something that interrupts this. So this goes off here, interrupts it, and sends it up the top first. Don't know. Need to think about this again. There was me, all happy with that, thinking it was going to be nice and straightforward. And no, not at all. It's all a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. And let's uh, think, what else were we going to do today? Ah, yes, my uh, my iron factory, which is it's still very much a work in progress. There isn't a direct route yet. You just have to kind of fly up there. But when you do get up here, it's starting to look kind of cool. I like the way is how it's everything looks kind of under construction. This is good. Um, but yeah, so we've got this is the downstairs. I haven't turned it all on yet. That's kind of actually that's probably next thing to do um, it, Oh, we didn't need to get power in here And I keep thinking keep thinking about what to do about the power because that's all in a mess So I need to tidy that up yet as well, but um, just a quick recap We've got the uh, the stuff being um, brought up from down below onto this kind of sushi belt setup. It's a bit bizarre 
but I like it. I think it's kind of interesting. It's just something a bit different. And each of these uh, refineries is running the alternate recipe for pure iron ingots. So it's using water and the iron ore. It means that we're going to be getting about 650 iron ores out of this little little building here. Um, until we get Mark III miners, then we could up it. But yeah, it just uses water brought in from up there, which is obviously all coming downwards. So that means no pumps are needed. So it's nice and easy. These will be nice and full. And yeah, the... Uh, ah, no, that was what I need to do before I do anything else is I need to get... I need to put in something to start pulling what this is making to send it somewhere else. And that I haven't fully figured out yet as well because I'm thinking that I'm probably just going to start making iron plates and rods from this. I just need to do the maths and work this out. So yeah, so I've still got a little bit of planning, but it's a, it's a cool little extra building and it'll look good along the side of this. I have done a little bit of tweaking over here as well. I can't remember. I, I, I've I finished the the other post that comes down from up there now so at least this is kind of looking pretty groovy here you know when you stand there and you look up and that, yeah it's all very cool there this is looking all good I kind of went and I did a little bit of um, work behind here put some uh, some glass foundations down this is all at the back end of the of this kind of getting all of that together and then we've got the very exciting bit down here way below on a really lower floor I've made this enormous concrete area that took something like ah I think it was about 15,000 bags of concrete actually to create this anyway um, and it's, <laughs> this is what's gonna be the train station now I do have one concern and that is the fog there's a kind of haze down here but I don't know if that won't be so bad once I kind of enclose it all that's the only thing I'm just not completely sure of. But I wanted to do something different with the train station in this one. In previous ones, I've always played the train station kind of safe. Just on a nice, big, clean, flat area. Whereas I thought this would be interesting to try and get something going on down here. So there'll be a few different trains that come in and out of here. Probably four or so. And they will... Well, four stations at least. And they'll have an in and an out area. Somehow, yet. I've still got to work that out as well. And, uh, yeah, that's that's going to be good. Because I don't know if you did see in any of the previous episodes, uh, I was talking about how I'm going to make a train track that basically goes around the entire map and then comes across the middle here back to us. So we've kind of got access to the whole map. And then I'm going to build loads of little sort of mini mega factories for doing all the different bits and bringing stuff back to here where everything's going to be kind of collated and collected and then here we would do just a few of the most important kind of bits and pieces but yeah 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 so that's where we are so our next jobs the next main thing because other than aesthetically improving this place the next main thing is to get this iron factory up here up and running so that I've got iron ingots coming out from up there and then what I'll do is, I, I don't know maybe I maybe maybe I build something on the lower part of these cliffs here this could be quite interesting if perhaps it's on this little ledge here well ah! so yeah on this little ledge here is where I am plates and rods are being made that could be quite cool but yeah I really need to do something about power I, what I want is somewhere that is in the main building that is going to be kind of like a distribution board so that all of the local areas are controlled from there and I can turn areas on and off again it takes more thinking about and yeah I don't know. Anyway, let's get this underway. Right, there we go. Starting off up at the top here, we have our two uh, water extractors in this tiny weeny little puddle. <laughs> That's basically all we could fit in there. But we've just powered these on, so we should actually start seeing water flooding into these pipes, which it is doing. There we go, lovely. So we've got water coming down from, well, yeah, coming down from up there. And uh, I still haven't fully finished all of this yet. It's still underway to make that look kind of cool. But it all comes down here. We've got an extra one for future proofing. Um, and that comes down to here. Now this is all kind of wired up. And it just needs connecting to power. So, whoa. Let's see. Uh, let's see, see, see. Let's connect this one. Yeah, this is only temporary. There we go, right. So now we should have power here, which we have, and we've still got plenty of power. Right, so that's all of this on. So basically, we'll go down to the first floor. These are now starting doing their thing, so they are putting out 
There we go. Okay, so this is just going to basically spin round and stuff's going to go up the middle there. I think, though, that that might not be the best kind of conveyor lift. <laughs> there we go. So stuff's going to start going up there. I've just seen a floor with it. Well, once it fills up, actually, no, it'll be fine. Once, Because once this fills up, it should basically be a constant stream. I don't know. Maybe it's not even a very good way of doing it. I just thought it'd be interesting. It'd be something different. <laughs> but anyway. I'm sure we can overclock this enough so that it basically is permanently full. And we'll worry about that later. So we've now got our stuff going up there. So which that comes up. It comes around here. And it should be doing a kind of similar sushi belt thing up here. Oh, I've done, the, I've done exactly the same thing. Look here. <laughs> so we'll swap that out. So again, it kind of comes around here and it goes off to each of the, uh, the machines. And then in the machines... Once the water gets here, it's obviously still on its way. Oh, yep, yeah, you can see that's just pumping up there. Let's just have a look in here. There's no water. Why not? Are you really going to tell me that I need a pump to get up that one little bit? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> I have to admit, I did not think that uh, that would be the case. I'm going to put one of these ones, though, just because it looks a lot better. All right, so we'll pop that. Right, so hopefully now we should start getting water around here. There we go, yep. Starting to fill. There we go. Right, so once that gets to four, that will make my 13 iron ingots. It's a little bit tight around this side just because it's so close to the wall, but they should all start coming out here and filling up this belt here. Ah ha 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 ha, there we go. So coming along here, coming along here along there and then they will reach down here where it appears they stop but that's because there's nothing at the other end so one side is looking good yeah that's all full I think it's just patience because they're at the further end oh yep there they are yep I do like the way they sit inside these um, these metal frames I think that looks really cool very industrial I love it yeah there we go and the idea is that this I know it's just a square blob at the moment, but uh, we'll fix that up. This will be a building for creating iron plates and rods. I'll do the maths and figure out what exactly uh, I get. Yeah, I've got nine machines putting out currently uh, 65. Uh, and I think to make the most of all of this, I've got to overclock them a little bit as well. So I need to do that still. So I'm going to have, yeah, it's around about 650. So I've got to figure out the maths to divide 650 between a bunch of uh, iron plates and a bunch of um, uh, rods. And that's what this is going to do. This is going to do iron plates and rods. So yeah, there's going to be a mini factory there just for doing that. Now, I said about um, people suggesting names for the factories to give them fun ones because if you remember this one down here, Lay It and Love It Limited. It's quite a cool name. And I thought perhaps you might want to join in. So... Somebody has suggested in the comments. Well, to be fair, a few suggestions, but um, Maelstrom M4S, thank you for your suggestions. You put forward three suggestions, and one of them I really, really like. It is Stark Iron, and uh, it's, it's one machine just in a 20 by 20 base. And I really like that idea, so I am going to do that. But I've got to think of a good name for this. So it's going to be Plates and Rods. So what would be witty, maybe even double entendre, about Plates and Rods? I don't know. Have a think, let me know. Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> it's just a a bit of a funny shape at the moment. I'm trying to integrate it into the the rocks and stuff, but as always, it's just this kind of the starting point. That's where it connects into my storage system. And this work of beauty <laughs> is where it's all coming down and getting balanced in down there like that. So... What have we got going on down here? Well, quite a bit, to be honest. This is a factory that's going to make three things. It's going to make iron plates, rods, and screws. Now, the first ones here are what are creating the iron plates, and there are 16. So that uses basically a whole belt to create, um, let me just double check. Yeah, 20 per minute, so 16 at 20 per minute. So that's giving me 320 iron plates coming out of here, which will be going downstairs. Then over here, we have 32, count them, 32 
creating iron rods and that's making 15 per minute at 32. So that's filling up a full 480 belt which then comes upstairs here and gets split. So half of the rods will go off and then into the storage. The other half goes up to these 24 constructors making 40 screws per minute each which gives me a total of 960 screws per minute coming out. So we're getting quite a lot of screws out of here. Now the one thing I haven't done yet is I need to split this so that at halfway they start coming out into a separate one because obviously one belt will be flooded. There won't be enough to get both out. And those screws, I'm going to have it so that that is kind of like a... Basically, all the all the extra goes off somewhere else in one of the other buildings. So that's it. It's, it's there and ready to start working. I just need to turn it on. By the way, quick point, because obviously I'm making these videos all the time. I'm dipping in and out of them. Um, I did get a comment about trying to make sure that I slow my movements down. And I have to admit, I've got the um, sensitivity of the movement quite high, but I do forget myself. So I do apologize if I'm ever jarring when I'm moving around. See, I'm doing it now. <laughs> I'm doing it now. I can't help myself. I do apologize if I'm ever jarring when I'm moving around. I, I just forget myself because I'm kind of... I get quite excited. <laughs> I'm just having fun. But yes, I will do my best to try and keep it smoother uh, in future. So just a quick note there. Thank you very much for the comment, though. I do appreciate the feedback. I really do. So anyway, let's get this connected up. I need to get power downstairs, don't I? Oh, it looks like there should already be power downstairs. Where's that going then? I don't know what's happening there. Oh, it's there, it's there. Right, so if I connect this to this one, everything should liven up. There we go. Oop. Hey, I'm on a belt. <laughs> All right, so we've got plates coming out already. That's great. We're filling up over here. We've got a lot of green lights. That's really good. There we go, we've got our first lot of rods going down that way. And we've got our screws coming down. So we've got our rods going in here. It is all working perfectly. Look at that. There we go. See, that's where it's going to start getting bottlenecked, you see. That's why I need to split this probably halfway down the line. There, look at that. Isn't that cool? Quick tip, by the way, in case you're not aware of this, the uh, lighting on the factories is important. It does actually mean something. If it's green, it means it's running completely optimally. If it's yellow, it means that it's not running optimally. So it's, you know, it's making stuff, it's working, there's power. But, see now, it's waiting, it's not getting anything. So that's as, obviously, because I'm using a manifold setup, that will eventually fill up and be full. If it's red, that means it's not getting um, power. So if I disconnect this, you see it goes red. So there's no power to that machine. Which is funny, really, because the light goes on and red if there's no power. Which in real life, that would be rather tricky to do without a battery. Anyway, I'm rambling. So yeah, so I've, I've started the design on this one. At the moment, it's very, very, very simple. Kind of got this angled roof up here with some glass uh, in it. And over here, I've sort of built, started building this so that we get this kind of nice view. This will be a really nice view of the main base that as you walk across, it will kind of unveil it. And you know, we can come out here. I do like to create these little um, viewing areas. So this is a, a kind of nice viewing area. Again, you can come out and look at the base from out here and look out across the landscape. This building is very straightforward at the moment, uh, but I, I'm gonna add some nice decorations and so on to it. I just haven't got to it yet. But you can see this is starting to fill up nicely in here. This is good. So yeah, it's all working. So now we're gonna head down to our storage because all of this should now be starting to fill up. Look at that, isn't that good? Oh, and while I'm here, just a quick one for you. You can see here, this is the blueprint that I made for building those factories. Just a quite a simple one, nothing spectacular. I just needed to get stuff sort of moving because yeah, until it starts getting more complicated, it's, it's yeah, it's one of them. So anyway, let's go down here and have a look. If you come down here at the night time, it looks so much better than if you come down in the day. How cool does that look? And especially now we've actually got some movement in here. This is really nice. I don't know what just, oh, right. So here we know we have metal plates. Here we know we have screws. And here we know we have rods. So I've got to think about what, what am I gonna do? A bit big, that's a bit small. What if we go with that? I'm not sure. No, I don't like it. I think I'll go with something like this for now. Whether I'll change it or not, I'm not completely sure. Yeah, it kind of looks cool. 
Let's just nip around the back. We're gonna have a look out here. So what's actually happening then? Okay, so stuff is going off into there. I actually, oh, I better make sure I switch that off because I don't want that to be starting to fill up because they're not the dimensional depots yet. So it is, it is actually working. So based on you know what we were talking about earlier, because is stuff going down the bottom here? Yeah, so we are getting stuff down here. Honestly, I really don't know what to make of this because it does seem to be working. It's doing exactly kind of what I want it to do. I haven't got that set to overflow out yet because we're not ready with all the the awesome sink yet. Now I do have some Mercer spheres, so I could actually probably start swapping these out. There we go. Right, so that is now. It is what it's doing what I want it to do. Because it's filling up the, the bottom one, and it's going up in here. So maybe it's doing this one first, which in theory should fill up first, actually. It would make sense that that fills up first, then everything else, then carries on into the bin. Because this will get buffered, won't it, eventually? Like, pretty quickly, because the cause the cloud storage not only is slow to upload, but um, also is limited. And even even with the full upgrades, I bet you it's still not, well, not the same as a, a full bin. So, okay. Well, this is good. Yeah. No, I'm very happy with this. I'm very pleased. And as I did say before, they will always have a long way <laughs> to travel to get in. But it doesn't matter. Look, I don't know when this this belt should be pretty much full at some point. I think there might be something. There might be a slow belt somewhere. I don't know. And then again, lots are quite next to each other. But either way, now if I come to my container, I've got loads of iron that I can grab there. We've got iron that's going into the depot. We've got screws available there. We've got these. These are coming in slower, obviously, but uh, they're there. So this is really good progress. That's the first step towards the big mega basey setup y type thing. How wonderful. And when you come up here, you still get this magnificent view, which is only going to get better as we add more cool stuff to it. There's just so much to do. And I love that we are now seeing movement. This is great. So we haven't unlocked anything in a little while. Let's see what we've got. We've got that, which I think we could do. We probably have got enough computers. That we must be able to do by now, surely. Let's select this one, because we need to get these manufacturers underway so we can actually start making some computers. Ah, I only have eight motors. Well, it is now time, though. We now have everything on us, I think. We can do our first baboosh from the new factory. Baboosh! Milestone reached. Manufacturers can receive up to four inputs for the production of complex parts, such as computers and heavy modular frames, but most importantly the two new project parts. The modular engine and adaptive control unit are essential for the development of phase three of project assembly. You are making good progress. The future is starting to look bright. Oh, it's just cool, isn't it? I love it. So, that is that one. What else have we got? So we've got the Mark V blueprints, so we're gonna need 100 computers, 100 heavy modular frames, and power signals, we're gonna need 50 computers. Okay, do you know what? I still haven't actually made a position for my man in here yet. I really must do that. I've got so many hard drive things going on. Um, yeah. We've got a bit of a bug here still though. They added the ability to scroll, but it kind of doesn't really work very well. <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know if that's something I'm doing, but yeah. So let's have a look. What have we got going on here? Um, when I unlock this, that's where I was saving my 50 computers for it was for this power augmenter. Again, I kind of want to make... I, I, I don't know whether I can make several of these. I don't know really much about them yet. I know that it adds 500 megawatts to the system, but I, yeah, I don't know. I need to unlock it and find out. I've, I haven't got enough of the uh, the SAM, reanimated SAM flux capacitor things. I have got enough computers, so I guess if I make some of those, I could unlock that and we can see what that's all about. Do want to start getting these a little bit better as well now that we're we're going to be filling them up. That's going to make life a lot easier. Yeah, so I think really I need to I need to start getting this. I need to start getting the SAM factory up and running. Now there is, and this is interesting. There is. I think it's up there, right? Yeah. Literally just there on the top of that one, there's a SAM ore. So that's going to be a perfect place to build a nice tall tower that's going to handle all the SAM stuff and bring that back down in. But it's also it's going to need some other bits because to make those SAM fluctuators needs wire and pipes. Then it makes me think that I could utilize alternate recipes to bring in some iron which could probably come from over here because these are only impure ones as well and I mean I don't know what that means by temp. I could build my SAM thing there and I could have something come in here. Inside the SAM factory we are making these, these and these and we're outputting these. 
that I think oh, I'm still doing that movement thing sorry I can't help <laughs> I'm trying my best I really am but anyway my point I'm desperately desperately trying to make here really badly is I'm going to build a sand factory up there so that I can get the rest of the stuff moving then I will start creating some of these more advanced stuff in here we've still got the train station to work on there's still so much to do and I'm flitting backwards and forwards I'm really struggling to decide what to do next I don't know if that's showing <laughs> but we made some good progress we started this building I don't know I might even link this all into sort of one because um, I've still got to do all the, the, the ability to walk around it rather than keep flying up there I need to make an entrance and so on that's all still to do it is looking cool though I love this game so much it is so good so I did discover that this wasn't running quite as efficiently you know like I said earlier where it seemed like there, it wasn't all going up because it was splitting it between going down this this route here so I've just made a slight alteration and I've put a smart splitter in any can go to the left and overflow goes straight on so that way it keeps my kind of cool design where it, this will always be maxed out but it now actually works properly that's good so it's, it's still interesting it's still something a little bit different to normal and if we come up here we should now start seeing this lower belt should start getting a bit more full because yeah there's big gaps in it and I don't like the big gaps in it it actually looks like water might be an issue water is an issue water is always an issue for me in this game but even here, look, it's not full. Right, well, I've swapped out all of the pipes to Mark IIs, and now it seems to be full. Honestly, water in this game is my nemesis. I cannot ever get my head around it. <laughs> it never seems to work quite like I was, I'm was. i expecting. But, as I say, it appears now that we can go to kind of any point in the pipe work, and it's full. So there we go. Now if we come and look here, I'm hoping... Now there's still quite big gaps, but... Because there isn't in the top one, but there... Oh no, there is. Okay. I mean, I'm not produ I'm only producing 320, I think. Ah, no, there we go. Look. That's what I want to see, is these big runs of lots of them. I am balancing it out the bottom there, so it should... It should get balanced before it reaches the system. I say that, it looks like it's not... I you know, probably haven't got that balancer right. I'm not doing very well today, am I? So let's just have a look now. What are we doing here? So that's full and going on to the next one. Is this is this the last in a chain? Yep, so that's the last in a chain. This one's full and going on to the next one. And looking at this, I've got my overclocking wrong as well because I that's no longer full. I'm pretty sure I did mention that maths isn't necessarily my strongest point. <laughs> but that is now working. <laughs> oh dear. It's all a learning curve and it's all good fun. So now we've got much more on the belt up here, which is good, which means a lot more will be coming downstairs. Yeah. And you can have them. You can have them as well, look. Let's not putting those out. Much, much better. So there we go, yep. So this is starting to fill up now. So these will eventually get maxed out, and then that will cause that to back up, which will then max everything else out, and everything will be lovely. It'll all be running beautifully. What kind of pause are we getting on the autosave now? Oh, barely anything. And there we go, look, see, now we're maxed out down here. But more or less maxed out, which is good. So now when we look down there... Yeah, my balancer definitely isn't working. I don't think I've done it right. I need to have a think about that. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's really balancing. <laughs> it's balancing more to one side. <laughs> oh, that's why I love this game. It, 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 it exposes my idiocy, which is brilliant. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah, guess what? I had it wrong. Of course I had it wrong. I don't know what I was thinking about. You have to cross across. You have to cross over. So I've built that, which is obviously terrible, but I just wanted to double check and make sure. But now, as you can see, it's all being balanced perfectly. So we're getting a nice balance of both belts permanently full going off into the areas which means that these plates should start increasing in speed as this starts to fill up. I've got to think about this though because I want this area to look a bit neater than that <laughs> but yeah it's it's not ideal yeah I need to come up with an interesting way to deal with that but I'm not gonna worry about it right now it's running my next worry is the sand project but I think we'll worry about that in the next episode because yeah that's that's enough for one day I think and uh, yeah, it's all looking very, very good. 
I'm very, very happy with it. I'm very pleased. It's so much fun. I just love all the movement, the way stuff all comes together. Need to do something with this, but we'll do that next time. And yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember, hit that like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and clicking the little bell will notify you when I put out a new video. So as always, all that's left for me to say is bye for now.